while election officials around the state are preparing for May's primary election. And they are warning some voters as that they head to the polls that there might not be much on the ballot. Local 4's Casey Mintz explains why. An election that's already a nuance by new photo voter ID laws. Some nonpartisan voters may be surprised to see an empty ballot come primary day, but election officials say never fear. That's how it's supposed to be. That blank ballot comes from a lack of nonpartisan races in some legislative districts. For instance, District 34 is not electing a new senator, so Hall County voters in that district will have a blank ballot. But the Constitution gives every voter the right to vote in all congressional elections. When a nonpartisan voter goes to the polls, they can ask for a partisan, nonpartisan ballot for the congressional races. And Hall County Election Commissioner Tracy Overstreet encourages all voters to be sure and cast a ballot, especially considering the historic nature of this election. We have two U.S. Senate seats and the 3rd District House seat. The last time that all of Nebraska's congressional representations, when you think of 3rd, 1st District, 2nd District, 3rd District Congress, plus two um, Senate seats, the last time all five positions were up for election um, in the same year in Nebraska was 70 years ago. And Overstreet says nonpartisan voters must ask for their additional ballot. Poll workers will not ask them if they want one. And Overstreet says if you are a nonpartisan voter that's voting by mail, you can request that partisan, nonpartisan ballot to come in the mail. Reporting in Grand Island, I'm Casey Mintz for Local 4 News.